Hello, 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 hello. This is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rich Gen X elsewhere. And it's time to continue with our playthrough of Vampire. <clears throat> now, we're getting closer to the end of our uh, investigation into this blackmailing. Okay, I'm here at the hideout. I'm gonna need some stuff, I think. I need to double check, though. Maybe I went outside again and all that. I mean, this is a very interesting game. I love it. Okay, so I step back outside. Okay. It's locked. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, so I need to get here. I got two people I could talk to. He should be here somewhere. But where is he? I'm cheap and I'm there he is. The men should not be your main concern. The disease upon us is not an accident of nature. Good evening, Doctor. Can I help you? I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm a doctor, Mr. Darby. I care about everything involving public health and this epidemic. Are you sure you're not just concerned about the repercussions that a scandal involving a certain nurse crane from the Pembroke Hospital would bring? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. Hmm. He never goes out? No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Hmm. He has no relatives at all? No. Except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. Okay. Christina Popper claims she sells her body because she can't find any other work. Do you believe her? 
Of course I do. Her story is exactly what I want my readers to understand. We live in an intolerant and divided nation. Do you think things yeah. will ever change, <clears throat> Mr. Darby? I believe the situation can only improve. And now that women can vote, I'm convinced things will change. Well. Oh. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. I like Mr. Darby. tells me a lot. Supposed to, oh, I missed it. It's over here. Ah, here it is. Darius Petrico. My dearest. Most beloved children, I am so sorry you have not heard from me for a few months. The situation in London has been difficult. I know it may sound selfish and silly where you, when you, my children, are still living in a country consumed by war, but there is also a war going on here in England. A war against poverty and injustice. This is a war I intend to fight despite my advanced years. This is why I am writing to you today. I won't be coming back to Romania. That probably means I won't see you again before I die. Don't be sad, my darlings. You are grown up now, and you have children of your own. You know the sacrifice we sometimes must accept to make this world, the world a better place. This is what I must make now, to feel useful one more time. I wish you a long and happy life. Kiss my grandchildren for me. And remember that your father loves you all the way from this cold, damp country. I am, as ever, your loving father, Darius Petruscu. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Yeah. Well, now we have one more person to talk with. Good evening, Mr. Nithercott. And good evening to you too, my good sir. Can I be of any help? Uh, yes. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. Ah. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. Mm. Interesting. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane, a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. But, sorry, no, never heard of her. Okay. 
anything else? Nothing there. Personal questions. Did you know the Mute Florist is a member of a secret society? No, I didn't. But I thank you for this information, sir. For it only enriches the mystery surrounding the precious Camellia. Are you not curious? Is there not more you wish to know? That girl has not an ounce of malice in her. Whatever she may be hiding, it's certain to be for the benefit of most, if not all. I fear you are a hopeless romantic, Mr. Nethercourt. Guilty as charged, Dr. Reed. <laughs> Alright. I like him. I'll leave you alone, sir. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Yeah. Hello again, miss. She just stays quiet. Very well. I don't try. <laughs> well. bother me that he's such a naysayer. Imprisoned by your daily routine. Unable to see the true horror. Why is he so drained here? shouldn't be mucking about there. Why did it turn red in there, though? Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. Mm. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see, Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. Uh -oh. Wow. Darcy Crane, yeah, well, I'm not gonna make him regret, but I don't want This is an interesting place. I'm, I, I'm liking it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need some shillings. I'm gonna talk with him, too. If you want to talk to Dorothea, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. 
I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. And I also run this little print shop. Mm. Interesting. So Dorothy's real name is not Crane. Like myself and many people in this area, Dorothea is from occupied Romania. That's all you need to know. She seems important to the community. More than you can imagine. The West End does not want to hear of Whitechapel's misery. Dorothea is one of the few doing something about it. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Hmm. Are you not worried for her safety? She is as brave as she is tough, and clever, too. If only I had met her when I was younger. <laughs> Are you in love with Camellia, Mr. Petrescu? Don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. Mm. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here, that's all we know. Camellia is not even her name. It's her favorite flower. You say she has no close family. Well, there's that awful poet who constantly follows her around like a lost puppy. A good yeah. man, for sure, but a very poor writer. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, let's see. Oh, do we have treatment for that? Oh, we don't... Oh, I do! Do you need some help, Mr. Petrescu? I am very tired, but that is all. I don't need you, Doctor. Well, I think you do. Take this, and you'll feel better. Free drugs from an English doctor? <laughs> it must be my lucky day. Yeah. Well, you get all that. Do you have any family left, Mr. Petrescu? Children or grandchildren? Who knows? I have abandoned my people for so long, they might as well be dead. Mm. As dead as I am for them, I suppose. Mm. Don't be embarrassed, sir. If you must know, my own father disappeared many years ago, and I forgave him. It's quite awkward to talk about our families like this, but... Thank you, Dr. Reed. I appreciate your trust. This war won't last forever. Did you ever think of returning to your country now it's free? No. I have taught strength and determination to my sons and daughters. Mm. I'm an old, dying man who only has memories of better times to cherish. Well, I like that. How did you meet Nurse Crane, Darius? Why does she trust you? I'm her oldest friend in England. Dorothea and I shared many ideas about this country and about the country we left. Mm. You mean occupied Romania, don't you? Even if not directly, I fought against your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than meets the eye, Dr. Reed. Mm. I know you fought for your country when it was occupied, Darius. Tell me more about it. Yeah. I know my days are numbered, and I know I won't see my homeland again. Oh. But I fought for Romania all my life, and I will until my last breath. But Romania escaped the grasp of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a free country again. But it's not the country I fought for. Mm. My homeland is not appeased, Doctor. Uh. But I still see a dark future ahead for my people. Yeah, this probably is. This man is a very nice Goodbye, man. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. I learned so much.
Uh, I'm not going to open that just yet. Well, that's the door. Just want to check over here. There. Okay, that's probably another way out. Dorothy Crane's Dispensary. Back in the place. Oh man. God. All the people need help. Oh, and White Chapel always gets a bum rap. Thirsty, thirsty. Uh oh, she's in trouble. Thirty first October. My dear Dorothea, when you read this letter I will be on the boat that will take Anton and me back to Brazov. England was not for us, and I confess I cannot wait to see again the proud hills of Transylvania. As soon as we are there, I promise I'll light a candle in the black church and pray for you to survive this terrible epidemic. I know that you do not agree with this decision and that you are determined to be more useful by helping our comrades exiled in the East End. But Anton cannot wait to return to our beloved country and see our long-awaited revolution bloom. He is my husband and I will stay by his side. I know you have, we have had our arguments and our fights. I know you would have wanted me to stand by your side and help you manage this clinic of yours. But now that I'm leaving England, be assured that if anything would happen to you, if you ever were in great trouble or danger, I would come back immediately to London with or without Anton. Please think of me as much as I think of you. I am your affectionate sister, Theodora. Uh, I need help! What do we have here, nurse? Patient Razvan Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalp! Hand me that scalp! What can I do, Doctor? I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, Doctor. He's still bleeding, Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... 
I can't see. Resist it. First, suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor! Cardiac massage, now. Cardiac... what? Are you making this up as you go along? No. Darn. I should have used the We've other one. have lost the pulse. He... He's gone, Doctor. Yes, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions, something primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. You're here to test my bedside manners. No. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Well, I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. <sighs> but why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, mm. and I'll milk her for all she's got. Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, Blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Listen very carefully, Dorothy. You will erase from your memory everything you pretend to know about Lady Ashbury and Pembroke Hospital. Let that rich bitch off the hook over my dead Nurse body. Nurse Crane, enough. Listen as if your life depended on every word. 
I know you've a generous heart who gives freely to those in need, but you shall walk away from the shadier streets of your business. I will never abandon- Dorothy, the discussion has come to a close. Your clandestine activities in the Resistance are over. Let it go. I'll... I'll let it go. Yes. All gone. Wow. Oh no. It's locked. That's why it's a high blood level. Wow. People are gonna suffer. Can I talk to her anymore? Something happened. Oh no. Damn. What happened? God damn it, people. So is this the punishment they meant? That these goons would be attacking?
Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Dr. Reed. Come on in. Good. Yes? See if there's anything else I can add to him. Tell me everything. I do not... Goodbye, Mr. about this area. Oh! What did I just get? Oh, what did I just pick up? I just picked up something! No, no, no. Well, what did I just pick up? Uh, what did I just pick up? It's locked. Was it something that was important? Well, I'll find out about that one. Ugh, I need blood. Oh. He's over here? Oh, boy. Oh boy. Did I get something? So what was this item I picked up? Hmm? See, I don't know what I just picked up. Clay. Oh, great. Now, I don't even know what I picked up, but I can't remember what it was, so I'll have to look it up later. Okay, but this one's over here. <sighs> I'm going the wrong way. I don't mind looking a little bit, see if I can find anything new. Oh, curfew. Sir, no civilians on- I'll kill you! go down this way then.
pay for peace of mind. Can't you just look the other way this week? If I've learned anything about Miss uh, Camilla here. Hello again, Miss. Let's see. Nope. Nothing. Very well. What happens if I head this way? Old road. a bit stronger. I think I'll leave him be right now. It's locked, all right. Okay. Well, now I'm going the right way again. Ooh. Anything? Alright. That's where I came from. locked. So this is back at the old road again, huh? Alright, uh, yeah, I don't want to head too far this way. Mainly you know, because too far that way. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately.
That was just... That was just beyond wrong what they did. treatments. Okay, I guess that's enough. I ransacked it already. Or somebody, wait, what's this? Oh well. right way to go. Maybe I'll uh, stop off and check on the other guy. out a little bit more. Somewhere. Oh, was this the place those guys were using to hide out? Might have been. Oh well. I don't need to look at posters anymore, but I'm going to find out what this other guy was doing, because, you know, Sad is, I gotta get by this guy to get over to the cemetery that I need to go to. Best run alone, sir. Die, leech! 
Oh, you had to do that, didn't you? Are you kidding me? You know, I hate fighting you guys. I gotta check on somebody. Okay, Are you all right, miss? I, I don't know. Who were those people? They, they, they wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am yep. Shaoshun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Okay. Let me wait, wait. Oh, she's healthy. Carnage. Is Father Whitaker's disciple among the bodies, I wonder? Mm. This man's far too old to be Samuel. No. By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. Mm. Samuel isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. Oh boy. Shouldn't you go back home, where you'll be safe? Maybe later. But for now, I need to talk to my husband at the cemetery, Mr. Reed. Oh.
As I feared. Samuel no longer preaches the good word. God, game, don't do that to me. Personal diary. October 12th, Father Whitaker is so righteous, so full of compassion, and I've got crap that's blocking my view. So let me get that out of my way. Righteous, full, full of compassion and love for suffering. His words are all the city needs tonight. I gave him my, all I have, my strength, my faith, my wealth, and it is not enough. I know where to find more. Father Whitaker and I went to an abandoned house near St. Mary's Church. It was an awful and smelly place. Rats were disrupting, the, disputing the rooms to the last remaining resident of the decrepit flats. Most of them are sick, awful, awful odors. That, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go through all this. Now then. I can't believe I'm doing this. something else I didn't expect to do. Uh, let's also... Widow in distress. Now well, there's more to her story, but it's not available now. symbols and or calcum. Hmm. Fear holy symbols as long as you have the faith across the star David all branch even. Okay. Or a calcum. It lasts. Oh brother. Oh. Oh. Finish that up. Didn't do you much good, did it, buddy? Eh, yeah, well. Okay. Uh, I need to get out of here. Unfortunately, I'm going the wrong way, but... Okay. 
in here. Oh, you son of a bitch, you! I was expecting to be caught like that off guard. Oh. Stable. Nice. Okay. Well, now I found a new hideout. Make that. Make that. Oh. Oh. Got that. Not enough for that, but... I'm not about to, uh, quote, call. No, I didn't want to rest. I don't want to do that yet. I'd rather not take them on right now. Mainly because... I need to get back to that hospital. Yeah, I should get back to the hospital. Oh, why'd I do that? Didn't mean to do that. And I've just doubled back. Son of a bitch. Ah, here we go. I can actually talk to Whitaker later.
see, not all of them pick up on that I'm a vampire. I'm going the wrong way again. Oh, there are my quarters. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. <sighs> you killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. No need to apologize, my lady. I know exactly what you endure. The situation is somewhat awkward, nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. Understood. The case is closed, your ladyship. The person who took advantage of you has, shall we say, seen the error of her ways. So who was it? My lady. The blackmailer was dealt with using the utmost discretion. The culprit's identity is of no relevance. Thank you, Jonathan. That is exactly what I needed from you. You have proven your loyalty, so... As a friend, please accept this small token of my appreciation. Thank you, my lady. Wow. If you have an inclination to learn more about vampires or your current situation, I will be glad to aid you in your quest for knowledge. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Yeah. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. Mm. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? Yeah. The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. Huh. And no one suspected you of the murders. As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. Mm. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. <laughs> I've been 27 for a long time now. And 27 I shall remain. <laughs> and who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. Hmm. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. Yeah. 
Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Scowls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. Hmm. And what is a skull? What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Yeah. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time. Yeah. And I've never seen it like this. Wow. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes. But it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. Oh my, I had that feeling. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. Wow. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed. And we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Mm. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Mm. Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Hmm. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as mm. intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. Mm. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. Interesting. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely it was the once glorious guard of Prewin. Once glorious? Once glorious, but still dangerous. Mm -hmm. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. Mm. You make them sound like some sort of cult. Yeah. More a society, and like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seemed they have been recruiting. Yeah. All right. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? Mm. It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. Mm. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Oh. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution. And I'm no fool. Mm. That's fair. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word. 
defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No, you are now an Econ, and that you shall remain. An Econ? Are you an Econ too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. Hmm. So we are Econs. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Econ are vampires. Yeah. But all vampires are not Econ. We are a... But a branch of the immortal tree. Interesting. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? Yeah. That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. Mm. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. Mm. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. No. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. Whoa. I bid you farewell for now, my lady. All right. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Yep. All right. Luckily, I know where to do that and how to get there quick. I know where to do that and how to get there quickly. Check this blood out. Light stamina serum. Nice. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Hmm. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Oh! And we've reached chapter three! Nice! Cause and effects. More about the vampire epidemic. Wow. Well. Look at that. We got through chapter two. We succeeded in all those. Ah! I thought I did help her. Oh, uh, well. That was a failure. Didn't know that. Wow. That's the first time I've actually had a failure, I think. I guess it's because I didn't kill... Because I killed... But the guy died. Well then, that's something I'm going to have to do next time. However, since we need to rest... Oh. We do need to rest, so what I'm going to do, we're going to do a rest and we'll call it an episode. Uh, we got skills that we can upgrade. We got a lot of them here, so let's see what we got. Two second control. Let's see what we can do here. This one's up. Oh, what? Whoa. Well, let's see what we got here. I mean, we gotta do something. So let me look through this and uh, make a bag. Oh.
Oh, wow. So let's see. 300 points. Three syringes. Two. Oh, well. Let's see what's this one. All right. Hmm. That's a thousand. That's thirteen hundred. What we got here? What we got here? Well, might as well use that. Oh, I unlocked something more, huh? Okay, what's this? Autophagy. Hmm. Increase my health. Yeah, might as well increase my health. Might as well increase that. Might as well give us some heal, too. Alright, I think that's as much as we could do. So we're going to rest. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the playthrough so far. And if you made it this far in the playthrough, please put in the comments. We're an Ekon. Or Econ, or whatever. And next time around, we're going to find out more of what's going on. And as always, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rich Gen X elsewhere. I invite you to subscribe to the channel and check out all the other playthroughs and that that I'm working on. Oh, what we got here? Oh. Alright, so let's see. Disappearances, okay, have escalated. Oh. So that's the result of that. Well, that's interesting. It was an interesting little thing we found out there. Nothing here, but West End is now starting. I don't know who the pillar is here. Sirius. Uh, I gotta help him. I have a treat. Do I have a treatment for migraines? Cold. I think I gave him something. I think I gave her something and him something, I think. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I gotta help him. He's got the headache. I don't know if I have the cure for that. Oh yeah, I gotta cure him. I should go back to this area and, you know, learn something. But yeah, check out all the videos I have up that go up on the channel. They premiere every day at 3 p.m. Eastern. Ah, see something happen. I'll have to check that one out. However, uh, until then, like I said, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X Elsewhere. Come check out all the videos I have going up every day at 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, besides this, I'm working my way through the Bioshock series, currently on bio, the first Bioshock game. Working my way through the Assassin's Creed series, currently on Assassin's Creed 2 for the channel. Though probably when you're seeing this, I might have already recorded my the episode of games that my mom found for... Uh, Assassin's Creed Revelation. Well, you might have, it might even be up. So, uh, also working my way through uh, 
Control, working my way through the Indiana Jones franchise, currently on Indiana Jones and the, Infer and the Emperor's Tomb. Working my way through the Shantae series, currently on Shantae, Risky's Revenge. I'm also working my way through the, uh, through, I do run through the game of Monstrum, working my way through the Deponia series, currently on Deponia Doomsday, and some other stuff. Also, every day, every week, usually Tuesday through Saturday at 10 a.m., I have video premiering. Tuesday is usually a fic reading. Wednesday is one of the first seven Final Fantasies. Thursday is usually Dead by Daylight. Friday is a fighting game, ladder or story mode, and Saturday is usually for retrospectives for games or series I've beaten the story mode on. So until next time, I want you all to take care and have fun. Bye!